folks. Today, I would like to illustrate to you how the Democrats in DJ United States of America hate the very country that they are citizens of. I'm talking about 21st century Democrats. I'm going to give you a few good examples. And one of them is this clown senator, Democrat, Dick Durbin, from the state of Illinois, where he accuses the United States military of being Nazis while we were in Afghanistan fighting terrorists. If I read this to you and didn't tell you that it was an FBI agent describing what Americans had done to prisoners in their control, you would most certainly believe this must have happened by Nazis, Soviets in their gulags, or some mad regime, Pol Pot or others, that had no concern for human beings. Sadly, that's not the case. This was the action of Americans in, in treatment of our, their own prisoners. See, that's how you protect your troops. You let the whole world know that you think that they're, they're, uh, they're <laughs> that the Nazis. He did that to accelerate the damage he's done to our troops by the enemy, hoping to raise the body count so they can win the next election. Democrats hate these here United States of America. Towards the end of January of this year, President Trump announces suspending all flights to and from China, where the commie virus uh, originated. Well, once again, we have this Democrat, this heretic Democrat, Nancy Pelosi in San Francisco, to nullify or to reduce the impact as far as President Trump's order. In March, she goes to Chinatown in San Francisco. Now listen. You should come to Chinatown. Precautions have been taken by our city. Uh, we know that there is a concern about tourism traveling all throughout the world, uh, but we think it's very safe to be in Chinatown and hope that others will come. See? What are you talking about, stopping all flights? There's no problem here. It's Orange Man Bear, according to that heretic, Nancy Pelosi. Now, the governor of New Jersey, Murphy is his name, he's one of them they're Democrats. And he enacted a lockdown on his state he was on Tucker Carlson, and Tucker Carlson is asking him a few questions. And he asked him, did you even think about the Bill of Rights? Charged for being in a synagogue together. Now, the Bill of Rights, as you well know, protects Americans' right and shrines their right to practice their religion as they see fit and to congregate together to assemble peacefully. By what authority did you nullify the Bill of Rights in issuing this order? How do you have the power yeah, to we do were, that? That's above my pay grade, Tucker. So I wasn't, uh, I wasn't thinking of the Bill of Rights when we did this. We went to all, first of all, we looked at the data well, and tell. the science, and it says... Pe no, they don't have to think about the Bill of Rights because Democrats, as stated by President Obama, that the Constitution is a flawed document because it gives rights to the people and not to the government. Democrats believe and worship the government is all powerful as far as they're concerned and the individual we are nothing but minions. See? That's them there Democrats. Then we have one of their acolytes, one of their goose stepping supporters, the Democrat Morning News. See? And right here they had headline that President Trump retreated. No, he didn't retreat. He said it was his authority, and he exercised it by passing it on to the governors. Very simple. That's what a chief executive does. He stayed in line with the Constitution. He didn't retreat. He revealed what his intentions were. But according to the goose-stepping accolade supporters of the Democrat Party, the Democrats themselves, Orange <laughs> Bad. See, folks? That's your Democrat Party who hates DJ United States of America. You vote for them, you vote against the country. We'll see you 
God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be. See you. Ha, 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 ha.